So let's talk about Instagram stories. I'm already sure by now you know that Instagram stories is one of the ways you can boost engagement on your profile because Instagram stories help you to share short, fun, you know, videos or even photos with your followers. And I personally use that to share a lot of behind the scenes and things I'm currently working on. And to also go furthermore, you know, in as much as you can just use them to um, share what you're working on or behind the scenes, you can also use Instagram stories to promote anything at all you have to your audience. You understand? So in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you how to create an animated Instagram story post where you can use to promote anything of your choice. So make sure you do not go anywhere. Hey everyone, it's Benjamin here and I'm one of the few verified Canva experts here in Africa. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you all the steps you need to take to be able to create an animated Instagram post inside of Canva. And just in case you're new to this channel, I must say you are so welcome. And one of the things you can do to be able to transform your 2023 is by subscribing to this channel because this is the best channel you can learn everything about Canva. And if you're an OG, massive respect to you. I truly appreciate you for all the continuous support. Without any further ado, let's jump straight into it so you can see this is what we are going to do and the first thing i would want us to do is to come to the home you know choose create a design and you see all of these options if you are new to canva just make sure you are finding the instagram story if it's not in the list of things over here you can just search for instagram story okay you should just see all of it over here so i'll just choose instagram story and one of the things we should see the first thing you see is a blank canvas you understand because life always gives us a blank canvas and we are supposed to paint it with our colors and uh you know, I don't know. Viewers, I apologize. I'm continuing. Anyway, so you can see we have it loaded at the moment. So going back, all the things included here are things I actually added. So we'll first of all, start from the back, which we can see we have these photos over here. So coming here, all you have to do is to come to element. In element, you know, just allow your element to load. Okay. And it would also depend if you have a fast internet. My internet, you know, really has the speed of light and it works like a tortoise because... <laughs> sometimes it can just be so slow anyway so i'll just go down and uh, we can see grid over here so select grid and just make sure you're cropping it to you know, maybe something like this i don't know if it's half or a little bit more than half okay then what we have to do is to come into photos and you can actually choose any photo of your choice so i'll just search for maybe crowd okay and um, it should get loaded and you can see we have so many options and one of the things i think you need to be able to use premium photos in canva is canva pro and i have a special link in the description box below that would help you to use canva pro for free so just in case you haven't or even if you haven't heard of canva before the same link can help you to sign up on canva and also help you to use canva pro for free okay so that's one thing i have for you okay so i will scroll down and i'll just choose this one because i just like the yellow and all of that and i also had um in china they are celebrating the year of the rabbits and uh it's something i just do you know lunar year or something like that anyway so i have it over here and um the next thing we have to do is press c on your keyboard for circle okay or just in case your c is missing or it's on vacation you can come to element in element just make sure you are seeing lines and shapes and you can see the circle over here you can just select it all right all right so make it bigger okay just make sure it's covering all of this part over here i'll change the color of this circle to white and this is what we have at the moment come back to your elements and search for circle outline okay so not pit line out i don't know what happens to me sometimes i just can't type in canva oh, outline i know sometimes a lot of you know people think i get to rant a lot but sometimes good to rant because it helps you take your troubles out of your chest you know so yeah okay so what am i even doing okay so i can choose any of these ones over here but i want the thinnest one of them okay so what we can even do first of all is just reduce the size of the circle okay reduce it first bring it here and just place this one straight into it and increase the size by pressing alt you know so that you can increase the size evenly like this i'll duplicate it okay position it to the center and i'll reduce it you understand so you can see what we have at the moment i'll select everything here but you know the photo we have at the back is also selected so what we have to do is to press and hold shift and click on the photo to deselect it okay then we can have this and increase the size <laughs> 
Some people say I have a beautiful voice. Some people say my voice is terrible. It doesn't matter. <laughs> anyway, so we would increase this more to have something like this and uh, maybe select it for this one. Increase both of them so that you know, we have it like that. Okay, so we would want to change the color. I will change the color to a light gray and you can also change it to any color of your choice. Okay, so this is what we have. All right, so the next thing we have to do is to search for, um, you know, the same outline but come into, what did I just see? Even though we are supposed to still use the outline circle, I just use the other thing. Anyway, look, I don't know what's wrong with me. Just pardon me, because I know you are a person with a very kind heart and you are so patient. You know, so sometimes when I'm messing up like that, just say, Oh, Benjamin, you are forgiven. Okay, and I'll surely be forgiven. <laughs> okay, so select any um, circle over here and uh, increase the size. So you can increase it very light. It should be, you know, so big. And position it somewhere here okay so you can see what we are doing but you can increase it more and position it maybe somewhere here like that okay then we can just change the color to white as well so you can see what we have and uh, maybe if this is not the arrangement i don't think i'm really satisfied with the arrangement so i would position it uh -huh, somewhere here like this and it looks like what we had initially has vanished so i will just select it again and also increase the size very big like it should be very big okay then we'll position it somewhere here like this okay then come to color change the color to white okay so once you do it you can see how things are looking at the moment so the next thing we have to do is to add our text okay so let's just do that quickly okay so i'll press still my keyboard to add the text and i'll increase the size i'll bring it here come to you know the typeface you know when you click on this you should see so many fonts and uh, I should give you the option to change the typeface okay so i'll change it to guide extra board which is um you know a custom font i uploaded in canva and there's one of the advantages of canva pro you can be able to upload custom fonts in there and use so maybe if you are working for a client and the client has you know specific fonts they use for their brand you can let them send it to you or you can download them okay and upload it in canva and use it for their project so that's why i would encourage you to hit on the link in below because you know it will just help you to get on that for free all right so i will change it to garrett extra bold okay and i'll just say um the the year of a rabbit okay so the year of the rabbit okay so press another t on the keyboard and i'm going to change this to any lighter text okay so you can see i have so many custom fonts uploaded over here but i want to use something that can be found in canva so if you don't have garrett bold okay you can use poppins poppins is one of my favorite fonts um so i'll choose this tajawa light okay and it should apply on my text i'll reduce it a little bit and i'll position it here i think let me choose a regular instead okay then the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to pull my browser over here and we should just go to dummy text okay because um unfortunately i can't just think of what to do all right so i'll just select some dummy text and um okay so something like this is fine i'll copy it and i'll just come and paste it over here but you know this is just too much okay so i'll align it to the left and i will just reduce the size now just reduce the number of text or words okay something like this is cool then we'll add our call to action so press r on the keyboard okay for a shape and you can just position this here reduce it come to the border style and you can just ink it around a little bit to four okay not too much rounding but some slight roundings to it right all right okay so i'll just um stretch it like that and duplicate this bring it here reduce the size a little bit i can just see maybe sign up now let's say it was a job or something like that sign up now okay so put this here then with the color of this um shape okay i want it to match with this okay so i'll choose my color come to the you know, new color and choose the color picker okay then i should select any color i have in here so you can see how this is looking it's very very beautiful right so now that we've done all of this the next thing we are going to do is to animate every single thing we have on our design okay so i'm going to walk you through all the things you can do so now the first thing i'll do is to click on this um circle over here come to animate okay in animate make sure you are finding baseline okay so choose baseline and the direction should be bottom okay if you want the direction is bottom you can you know, adjust the speed according to how you want it okay but i'll just move it to something like this okay then the next thing i'm going to do is to let me click away first 
okay i'll just have to make sure i'm selecting the circle behind and how you can do that is you should press control while you click you know until you get what you are looking for what you want to select now come to animate and also choose baseline for it as well and choose bottom okay so you can see according to how i want them to come in that's how i'm animating them you know so i started with the bigger circle over here then with the one we have behind over here okay then i'll reduce it a little bit to something like this okay then i'll select um you know this first circle we have right here so i press ctrl okay then i'll come to animate as well choose baseline for this one too and choose the bottom okay then i'll reduce a little bit okay then we can choose this one okay this circle and we'll do the same thing for it okay so animate and baseline all right then we'll choose the bottom for it and i'll also reduce the speed because it doesn't have to rush okay so while all of this is happening i would also choose the photo over here and we'll choose photo zoom okay so you can see it over here to photo zoom and um, you can even either choose it to zoom in or to zoom out so you can see any so anyone you want you can use but i think i'll just go in for zoom in okay then once it's doing that we now want our text to appear so i will come to animate and i will choose ascent i love that one i just like i really love um, ascent why is it okay so this ascent so i will choose ascent and i will you know with this one i can choose bounce okay so you can see how it's appearing but it looks too childish we can also you know look at row nah i think i should also go for ascent because we want something very simple okay then with the call to action shape what we can do is i can choose rise okay so rise so that it moves to the top and i can also choose ascend for this text as well okay but choose bottom so that it comes from the bottom so this is how it's going to happen so you can see how it is so beautiful so beautiful so let's just take a look at what we have created so far So just in case you found this video helpful, I will highly recommend you to leave a like and um, just in case you also have any questions, kindly leave it in the comment section below. I always read all the comments and with anyone that fits for a video, I will surely make a video about it. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel because I'm here to help you and I want every video I make to be able to reach you. So just leave you know, a subscribe and hit on the bell icon as well. The name is Benjamin. Always remember there is no limit to creativity. I should see you in my next video. Okay. Okay. I'm doing my job, that includes whipping and keeping the recipes. Uh, I cannot stop, I gotta get it to legends are next to me. Uh, to legends are next to me, I do not text to me. Uh, I'm trying to get it. Uh,